Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to make a rounded rectangle spry menu bar. Awesome effect, you see it on a lot of websites, but it's not easy to do in Dreamweaver because they always give you this regular rectangle and it's really difficult to think of how you're going to customize it because you go through all the CSS, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm going to show you right now. In order to do this, you need Dreamweaver, Photoshop, and you need a spry menu bar don't know how to make one, look at some of my previous tutorials and I'll give you all the steps on how to make one nice and easy. So let's see what I'm working with right now. Let's just preview this real quick before we get started. And this is the spry menu bar that we are going to be manipulating. Basic spry menu bar, the hover effect is changing to yellow. You change the text to yellow, background color stays the same. So we are going to soften this up by making rounded rectangle corners on each side. So first thing we're going to do is open up Photoshop. Now go File, New, and in Photoshop make a new document, 30 width, 30 height, 72 resolution, transparent background. Click OK. Once it's open, click F, and then let's change, let's zoom in a lot, so make sure this is blue before you start typing in the zoom in. Let's make this a thousand zoom and click OK. Now this is what we are going to be working with. So let's grab our rounded rectangle tool. So go to your rectangle tool, you'll see it right here. Click and hold that and go down to rounded rectangle tool. Make sure that the shape is selected and the rounded rectangle shape is selected, the second one. And make sure you have the color of your spry menu bar. Mine is black, so that's perfect. But you want to click right here and insert the hexadecimal code for whatever your spry menu bar color is so that it blends in perfectly. Now, once you have that done, draw your spry menu bar. So let's start outside of the workspace a little bit and let's just draw that puppy right in there. So after you have your spry menu bar, I'm pretty well aligned on the bottom, but I'm not that well aligned at the top. You want to have it fit and snug, nice and tidy on the top and the bottom. So click your marquee tool, your moving marquee tool, and hit Command and Control T, and let's move that up just a smudge. Okay, that's good. Now click the check mark when you're done, and let's move this over until right where it's starting, right where the rounded rectangle effect is starting. Let's get that close to the edge, but not right on the edge. That's pretty good. I like that. So now that you have this, we're going to crop this. So get rid of all this white space. So just click, drag. That's a pretty good crop right there. If you don't have a good one, you can manipulate it by moving these around, but make sure you have the top and the bottom at least, and double click that crop, and then go to, uh, let's change this back to 100%, and that will be the left side of our spry menu bar. So let's save this in our default images folder by going File, Save As, I'm just going to call it Left, Save, Save it as a PSD, and now you want to save it as a PNG file. So go down to PNG, click Save, and make sure it is interlaced. Very important. And click OK. Now let's go back to uh, back to Dreamweaver, and as you see, my spry menu bar is in a table. You always want to have your spry menu bars in a table so that you can align them around the page much easier. If you don't have it in a table, I'll show you really fast how to get it in there. So say your spry menu bar is right here. If you want to put it in a table, make the table, then click the spry menu bar, the blue thing above it, and hit Command and Control X. Click inside the table, Command and Control V. Now I have my spry menu bar in a table. So hover over the spry menu bar, click that blue part, and then click to the left once. Once you've done that, go to your insert common area and go to image, and click left.png and click choose. No alternate text necessary, click OK. Now you have your left side right there. To align it with the spry menu bar, click it, go to align, and make it left. Now check that out, almost done. It doesn't seem like those 30 pixels high was enough. So why don't we click this, and now you can see we have the height and the width right here. And let's change this to, let's try 34. Click enter, that looks perfect. So let's go to preview this in Safari so you guys can see what I'm looking at real good. Now check that out, look at that. So now we have that nice rounded corner effect, but oh, now we don't have it on the right side. So let's do that right now. Close this out, go back to Photoshop, go Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. 
Now it looks like a little white space came in there when I flipped it. So let's click the marquee tool and let's click it to the left once. That looks a little better. We might have had a little white space in there which could have ruined everything. So let's go file, save as, and let's call it write.psd. And now let's change it and save it as a PNG file. And let's save, interlaced, OK. Come back to Dreamweaver, click right to the right. I know that's a little weird. Click right to the right of the spry menu bar. Insert the image. Insert right.png. Click choose. No alternate text necessary. And there's our right side. And remember, we got to change this to 34. Click enter. And check that out. So let's look at this in a browser. And voila, now you have a rounded rectangle spry menu bar looks so much cooler than the regular just the regular rectangle and it's a nice way to soften everything up so uh, thank you for watching this has been Chris Carrington from GMUstudent.com and stay tuned for more tutorials and thank you for watching